is a sports presentation of the WB 11. Sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another first round, yes, we are still in the first round, matchup in my round robin uh, card and dice Stratomatic Baseball Tournament, and this one is, this matchup is going to be the 1991 New York Yankees, who were 71 and 91, going up against the 1968 Baltimore Orioles, who had the opposite record. They were 91 and 71. And uh, this was, the Orioles this year were pre-Jim Palmer, so there will not be a Jim Palmer pitching for the Orioles. The Yankees had a decent, really, from what I can see, they had a decent lineup and they didn't have a terrible defense. They just had terrible pitching. So, their first pitcher in the game one of this series is going to be Scott Sanderson and he was 16 and 10 with a 381 earned run average and that's really as good as it gets for the Yankees he was like far and above he was their best easy going away starter and then it falls off a cliff after him and starting today for the Orioles is going to be Dave McNally who is 22 and 10 with a 195 earned run average so even though Sanderson is a decent starter and you would think behind this Yankees lineup he might win, they still have a tough uphill battle facing Dave McNally. So, uh, you know, same rules. Go back if you've been following the tournament. It's going to be all DH, although this is the American League, so it's not that big of a deal that this is uh, DH. It's a best of three series, so if, you know, when one team wins two games, that's it. They advance to the next round. It'll be different in the second round. It'll probably be a best of five in the second round. But for right now, it's a best of three. Uh, just to weed out, quickly weed out the, the bad teams. Although, we have not managed, there are two bad teams advancing to the, or two of the underdog type teams are still advancing to the next round. So, with that having been said, I think we need to get underway here. Uh, we have Roberto Kelly being the first batter to face McNally on the day. And he gets a 210, which is a triple one or a single. The Yankees come right out smoking right away. He gets a single, though. That's a hit allowed by McNally. And, uh, that brings up Steve Sachs. And he gets a 2-8, which is a pop-out to short. So there's one away. Uh, Don Mattingly gets a 6-7. McNally's card, that's a strikeout. Apologies, I think this, the camera's shaking a little bit. That's because the table is shaking, but it's not too bad. Just pretend we're playing where there's, like, tremors. I don't know. Kevin Moss. Kevin Moss, no Moss. And he gets a 5-5, five, five, which is also a strikeout. So, McNally strikes out two, allows one hit, but the Yankees get nothing. Baltimore coming to bat. And Baltimore is going to lead off with Paul Blair. To take on Sanderson, going up against Sanderson, he gets a 6-5, which is a home run 1-17 or a triple. And that's going to be a home run. So Paul Blair goes deep on the very first at bat. Home run RBI, all of a sudden Sanderson is immediately losing the game. 
Don Buford's up. He gets a 6-3, which is a triple one or a double. Sanderson is getting tagged. And that's going to be a double for Don Buford. That brings up Frank Robinson. And he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That happens to be their worst fielder. It's Pat Kelly. He's a 4. That's a 16 and a 4 at third base, which is a one base error. So nobody's out yet, and this is, a, this is not a bad Orioles offense either. So you can't be giving them extra chances. Pat Kelly just gave them an extra chance. That brings up Boog Powell. And Boog Powell gets a home run. Three run jack for Boog Powell. And the Orioles are all over the Yankees. Second home run. Only two of those runs are earned, though. But it doesn't matter. It's still 4 nothing on the scoreboard. And then uh, Davey Johnson comes up. He gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. That's the first out of the inning. Sanderson striking the man out. And Kurt Bluffery is up. And he gets a 5-7, which is a line out to shortstop. And so Sanderson's calmed down a little bit. Brooks Robinson gets a 1-8, which is a home run 1-15 to or a triple. And that's going to be the third home run of the uh, first inning. <laughs> I mean, it's the third home run of the game, but it's the third home run in just one inning. That also is an unearned run because there should have been three outs by now. Andy Etchebarren is up, and that's a 2-4, which is a fly ball to center field. So, uh, I don't want to say no runs come across, because they do. Five of them do, actually. <clears throat> and uh, so the Baltimore Orioles have a 5-0 lead. And there is going to be action out there in the bullpen. They will have... Lee Guterman warming up in the Yankee bullpen. So, um, Jesse Barfield comes up to the plate to face McNally, who right now you got to believe has this game in the bag, but we'll see. 6 5, though, is a home run 1 to 16 or a triple. And that is a home run. Balls are flying out of the park left and right here. Barfield with a home run gets a run on the board for the Yankees. But there's still a long way to go for the Yankees. It's 5-1 right now. And Matt Noakes is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a fly ball to left field. He's out. That brings up Mel Hall. He gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout to away. Third strikeout of the game for McNally. And Pat Kelly is up. 5-7 is a double 1-7, to seven, or it'll be a fly ball. And it just misses. It's a fly ball to center field. So Pat Kelly flies out to Paul Blair. But the Yankees do get a run. They make this score 5-1. to one, And they will bring in Ruderman to replace Sanderson, who did not pitch very well at all. He had some help from his defense giving up some of these those runs, but still. So you got uh, Sanderson with one inning pitched. This is the book on Sanderson. One inning pitched, um, four hits, three of them were homers, 
struck out one and gave up three earned runs, but five runs total. And so that will bring up Mark Belanger, the worst hitter probably in the lineup. And, but he was known mostly for his glove at short. And he gets a 5-6, which is a line out to shortstop. One away. Paul Blair comes up. He homered to lead off the game. He gets a 4-8, which is a pop out to first. Two away. Guterman comes in, calms everything down with the Yankees down by four. Don Buford gets a 3-4, which is a strikeout. So Guterman does come in, he calms everything down a little bit, and the Yankees, though, are still down by four runs to a very good Dave McNally on the mound. El Alvaro Espinoza is up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball to third. He's out. Brings up Roberto Kelly. Roberto Kelly with a 110 is a line out to third base, two away. And that brings up Steve Sachs, and Steve Sachs gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to third base. He grounds out to Brooks Robinson, the human vacuum cleaner. And we go to the bottom of the third, with the Birds leading by the score of 5-1. to one. Frank Robinson up to the plate, facing Guterman for his second inning. Got to believe he's, they're going to get as much as they can out of him. 4-3 is a ground ball first base, so he's out. Boog Powell is up. Boog gets a 4-9, which is a single. So, uh, Boog Powell, who had a homer in the last time, gets a single this time. Davy Johnson's up. He gets a 4-9, which is a single. So after one, after the first out of the inning was made by Robinson, Frank Robinson, uh, the, the O's get the next two men on with singles. And that brings up Bleffery. And Bleffery walks. So now the O's have loaded the bases. And that brings up Brooks Robinson. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball center field B, but knocks in the man on third. So there's two away. And Guterman gives up his first run. Etcheberin. Andy Etcheberin's up. He gets a 5-10. That's a ground ball to short. Elvero Espinosa is a 3 at short. And that's a 1. That's going to be a single double asterisk and another run scores. The Yankee pitching has really not been very sharp at all this game. Second run in for this inning, and Mark Belanger comes up, and he gets a strikeout. So Belanger mercifully ends the carnage, but the O's come up with two more, and now they lead 7-1. 7-1, and McNally's cruising. He gave up a home run to Jesse Barfield, but that's it. And Don Mattingly is up. He gets a 2-8, which is a single. Mattingly, probably their best hitter. Third hit allowed for McNally here in the fourth inning. The Yankee fourth. Kevin Moss up. He gets a 4-6. That is a pop-out to short. One out. And Jesse Barfield up, who homered last time, and he gets a 3-4, which is a strikeout. So he strikes out this time. Fourth strikeout for McNally, and Matt Noakes is up. He gets a 4-6. That is a pop to short. The Yankees are out of the inning. They get no runs in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the score seven to one Orioles and Paul Blair's up. He gets a five five, which is a ground ball second base one away. Don Buford's up. He gets a three four, which is a strikeout two away. Guterman, though not pitching that well, 
is pitching better than Sanderson did. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So Frank Robinson getting a free pass. You don't want to give out too many of those to this Orioles team. And Boo Powell up. He gets a 4-8, which is a pop-out to first. So he, the Orioles go down in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth with the Yankees up and losing by the score of 7-1 to the Orioles of 1968. Mel Hall is up. Gets a 5-4. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2. That's Belanger. That's going to be a single. They roll a 1 again. So Mel Hall with a single. Fourth hit allowed for uh, Dave McNally. Pat Kelly is up. He gets a 2-2, which is a walk. So they're working a uh, little rally here, but you gotta you got to wonder how long uh, you can sustain a rally against someone like Dave McNally. Alvaro Espinosa is up. He gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to the double play, to shortstop into a double play. So the Yankees now have a man at third, but they have two outs. And they really needed to get somebody in. Oh, well, they do need to get somebody in. 4-6, though, is a pop-out to shortstop by Roberto Kelly, and they will not do that. So the uh, double play, the ground into a double play by Alvaro Espinosa proves to be a, a, uh, an inning killer, a rally killer. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. O's up 7-1 base. The first baseman is a 1. So I thought the Yankees were up. They're not. So the first baseman's a 1, but that is, that's Mattingly. And he is a 1. Oh, he's a 1, so that'll be an out. So David Johnson's out. Kurt Bleffery, 1-5, is a home run one or a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Bleffery is out. And Brooks Robinson comes up. He gets a 1-11. That's a single. Fourth hit allowed by Guterman, who is in his fourth inning of pitching and probably last, too. 1 8 is a home run, 1 to 15 triple. And that is a home run by Brooks Robinson that knocks in two runs. Incredible. And Brooks Robinson is 3 for 3 with two home runs this game. And Andy Etcheberry's up 5-7. That's a single. So I think um, it's safe to say that Guterman is probably out of gas. And they will be looking for someone else out in their bullpen. And that someone else will be Dave Island, who I think was the pitching coach for the Yankees for a little while. Mark Belanger comes up. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is a uh, 3. That's Steve Sachs. 18-3 and three is a roll again. 18-3 and three is a roll again. 15-3, and three, however, is an out. And I think that's only the second out because that was an out, that was a fielder's choice. And uh, that brings up, let's see here. First batter was, I'm going to go with it. Paul Blair, 4-6, is a fly ball to right. And they don't do any more damage anyway, so even if I gave them an extra out accidentally, they didn't get any more runs than the two that they did get which they did legitimately get, and now leave 9-1. to one. 
And Steve Sachs is up. McNally's still out there. He pitched 273 innings, so he can go a complete game. 5-6 is a ground ball to second. That's Davey Johnson. He is a 2 at second. That is a 15. It's probably an error. It is. So that was Steve Sachs getting on by an error. Or no, he was Steve Sachs. Well, I mean, he did get on by an error, but the error was by Dave Johnson. First error for the Orioles. Don Mattingly up. He gets a 5 4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2. That is a 4. 4 and 2 at short is an out 1. So Kelly moves to, uh, or. Sachs moves to second. And that brings up Kevin Moss with a man at second and one away. And he gets a 1-5, which is a walk. The Yankees have two guys on. Got to believe, though, it's not going to be enough to mount any kind of a rally here. That's only the second walk allowed by McNally and Jesse Barfields. Up, he gets a 4-9. That is a ground ball, second base C. Runners go to second and third. And that brings up Matt Noakes. And Matt Noakes gets a ground ball first base, and he is out. So the Yankees come away with no runs in the sixth. So far, they still only have the one run on the solo home run by Jesse Barfield. Back in the second inning. So the Yankees are going to bring in Dave Island to pitch. So that means we're closing the book on Guterman. After four innings. And that brings in Dave Island. I may run out of space to write relievers. So Don Buford facing Island. He gets a 1-8, which is a walk. The Orioles' attack has just been really relentless. There's nothing else you can say about it. I mean, they've hit four home runs this game. Frank Robinson comes up. He gets a 112, which is a fly ball A to left field, which moves um, Buford over to second. One away. Boog Powell gets a 1 5, which is a strikeout. And that brings up Davey Johnson, and Dave Johnson gets a pop out to third. No runs across for the O's in the sixth. Again, though, they are still leading 9-1. to one. Mel Hall is up. He gets a 3-8. That's a single. Mel Hall with his second hit of the day. Fifth hit off of McNally. Pat Kelly's up. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball B. So now Pat Kelly is at first with one out. That brings up Alvaro Espinosa, 5-7. That's a fly ball left field B. That's two away. And Roberto Kelly comes up and he gets a 6-2, which is a triple one or a double. And that's going to be a double. So with two outs, the Yankees have runners at second and third. And uh, and Steve Sachs up at the plate, and he gets a 6-8, which is a strikeout. Fifth strikeout for McNally. No runs come in for the Yankees, though they did get runners at second and third. But they could not score either of them. And Kurt Bleffery is up for the Orioles. He gets a 1-7, which is a single one to 16. And that is a single. Bleffery's first hit. First hit allowed by Island. Brooks Robinson gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to right, one away. And 
Andy Echebaron gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. And Mark Belanger comes up, he gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. That's Mattingly, he's a 1, that is a 3, likely an out, and it is. No runs for the O's, we go to the top of the 8th. Don Mattingly is up, he gets a 4-7, that's a strikeout. They have not really been able to solve McNally yet. Kevin Moss, 2-6 is a strikeout. Sixth strikeout for McNally. And Barfield is up and he gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to center field. Barfield, of course, accounting for the Yankees' only run with a home run back in the second. We go to the bottom of the eighth. O's up, facing Island. Paul Blair up, 1-6 is a pop-out to third. So the leadoff man for the Orioles gets out to lead off the eighth. Buford up, 1-8 is a walk. Frank Robinson, he gets a 310, which is a single one to 15. And that's going to be a line out to third instead, two away. Frank Robinson just missing his first hit of the game. And Boog Powell up, he gets a 2 4, which is a strikeout. We go to the top of the ninth. The Yankees, yeah, the Yankees are in bad shape. They got to have eight runs right here, or they're going to lose game one. Matt Noakes is up. He gets a 1 3, which is a ground ball to second. Mel Hall up. He gets a 4 4, which is a fly ball to center. That is Paul Blair. He's a 2. That's a 17. That's an out. And up steps Pat Kelly. And Pat Kelly gets a single. So Pat Kelly keeping it alive, at least for the moment. Sixth hit allowed for McNally. Alvaro Espinosa up. And he gets a single. So he keeps the uh, he keeps the chain going. Two out, two on for the Yankees. Roberto Kelly up 4-10 is a ground ball to the third baseman. That is Brooks Robinson. He is a one. And that is going to be an out for Roberto Kelly. And the Yankees officially go down in game one by the score of nine to one. Island pitches two. No, three. He pitches three. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, three. And he gives up no runs. He was the best pitcher of the day. Um, McNally, though, pitches nine, gets the win. The loss going to Sanderson, easily, um, who just pitched horribly. And now the Yankees are going to have to bring up somebody worse than Sanderson for game two to try to even the series. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.